As a young boy, I grew up reading the most popular car magazine here in Australia called Motor Magazine. Motor Magazine was universally loved. I loved reading it and I would read every single page from cover to cover. Well, now Motor Magazine is on its last legs. And there's one very good reason for that. I just had a look on their website. They've published around about 200 articles over the past couple of weeks. Only one of those 200 was about an electric car. However, they're still doing their best to stay alive by making some interesting claims. They claim that hydrogen-powered cars will become a real thing within the next few years. And they claim that they have proof as to why this is going to happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel. We haven't been around for long. We've only been around for, what, 11 months now. So getting to nearly 70,000 subscribers has been fantastic. I hope all of you are doing well and having a great year this year. Motor Magazine says that hydrogen as a fuel source faces an uphill battle when it comes to road cars. Now, Motor Magazine then claims that hydrogen has clear benefits in long-range logistics and the transport industry, which I completely disagree with. In fact, this is a bogus concept that was started by who? The fossil fuel industry. Hydrogen is the fossil fuel industry trying to keep itself alive, just as what Motor Magazine is doing by publishing these kinds of articles, which makes bogus claims. Motor Magazine says, that they see a future where cars are bought and driven for reasons other than merely getting from point A to point B. Now, they believe that performance electric cars are not a thing, not possible, not interesting, and no one wants them. Well, obviously, evidence proves otherwise. Motor Magazine, in fact, says that there are millions of people on the planet that want to hear the rich notes of an exhaust ride, a fluid and growing wave of power, have our souls stirred. These elements of emotion are something electric performance cars, to this point at least, have done a questionable do job of satisfying. Motor Magazine says that we need more efficient internal combustion engine cars and hydrogen internal combustion engine cars are the future. This is the answer apparently to their desires, or at least to the public's desires. Now they state evidence by saying, Toyota and Yamaha have teamed up for the most exciting example of hydrogen combustion engines, a 5-litre naturally aspirated V8 producing 335 kilowatt and 540 newton metres, exactly the same power and torque figures as the gas or petrol-powered version, but with extremely limited emissions. The basis of this engine is the 2URGSE, co-developed by two Japanese companies, found in the Lexus RCF coupe. Yamaha changed the intake manifolds and injectors while tweaking the cylinder heads to allow the engine to run on compressed hydrogen while only dropping 16 kilowatt and gaining 10 newton meters compared to its gas-powered sibling. The dramatic 8 into 1 exhaust isn't just for show. It's said to give the car an engaging exhaust note. Now, Motor Magazine makes an interesting claim they say that hydrogen combustion functions in much the way as cars that use regular unleaded. There is the same four-stroke combustion cycle with fuel directly injected into the chamber and ignited with a spark. This sounds very simple, but Toyota says it's actually been difficult to achieve. In 2016, Toyota was having to use a 50-50 fuel mix of unleaded and hydrogen to get the required ignition that they said they needed and the current purely H2-powered test engines require incredibly high internal temperatures for the spark to catch and work correctly. What does this mean? Potential for blown engines. Motor Magazine says, The major upside in an era of reducing emissions is the fact that the most significant byproduct from the engine is water. However, hydrogen combustion isn't entirely zero emissions. 
by igniting it in air and using the same mechanical internals that require lubrication, small amounts of oil are burnt in the process, creating minor levels of carbon particulate emissions. In addition, hydrogen is not clean. We generate hydrogen by doing what? Burning fossil fuels. The only possible way to create hydrogen in a kind of clean manner is by using renewable energy. But even then, we still have to pay for that energy. That energy still comes at a cost. We have to create the solar panels. The truth is, there's no such thing as clean hydrogen. Another benefit, say Motor Magazine, of hydrogen engine cars, is that engineering combustion engines to run on hydrogen is cheaper than developing and building hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Hyundai Nexo or the Toyota Mirai. Very expensive vehicles that really no one wants. Now, of course, there are some big disadvantages to hydrogen. Hydrogen fuel cells are already at a well-to-wheel efficiency disadvantage compared to battery electric vehicles. Energy is lost as electrolysis, compression, and transport stages for hydrogen, while it also slowly bleeds out of the highly compressed fuel tank, usually running at a pressure of 10,000 PSI if left unattended. Now, imagine that you crashed one of these vehicles. Imagine the potential for the kind of enormous explosion that you would see. Most battery electric vehicles have a well-to-wheel efficiency of 75 to over 90%. Fuel cells fall in the low 30 to 35% range, with hydrogen combustion an additional 5% worse than hydrogen fuel cell powered vehicles. However, the crazy thing is here, in spite of all the logic, Motor Magazine says that Yamaha and Toyota haven't developed a hydrogen engine for nothing. They actually plan on building them. Now, the crazy, the even crazier thing is that Subaru, Mazda, and Kawasaki have joined Yamaha and Toyota to form what has been nicknamed Team Japan in a coordinated aim to support the future of internal combustion. Toyota currently pays to promote advertising to young children to try and brainwash them into thinking electric cars are bad and we need internal combustion engine vehicles. While Yamaha and Toyota work on hydrogen combustion, the other three manufacturers will participate in motorsport using biodiesel and biomass-derived synthetic fuel, all key jargon marketing terms to try and convince people that, well, burning fossil fuels is clean. It's not. Now, to give you guys who are still fans of hydrogen an idea of just how badly this concept actually works in the real world for racing enthusiasts or just enthusiasts in general, Toyota raced a Toyota Corolla in a 24-hour endurance event last year using a GR Yaris engine converted to run on hydrogen. The hatchback traveled 1,634 kilometers and it drove for only 12 of the 24 hours due to a bunch of defects and issues that the car had. However, after only 12 hours of driving, the vehicle had to be refueled 35 times. So not only was the range incredibly short, the vehicle was also extremely unreliable, extremely expensive, and its overall energy efficient, as spoken about earlier in this video, was extremely poor in comparison to electric cars. Now, the sad thing about all of this is that Motor Magazine, while promoting this mythology behind hydrogen, which is really just the fossil fuel industry trying to convince you that you should just stick with them because, yeah, trust us, you've been with us for a long time now. Keep spending money with us. Keep burning the world's resources. It's a great idea. Trust us, that's what you need. Not only are Motor Magazine promoting this idea, they're also promoting that you should subscribe to their magazine, which by the way, won't exist within a few months. On their website, there's advertisements everywhere asking you to subscribe for a one-year subscription, when in reality, the company itself won't exist within a few months' time. That's been reported by our news media here, which is really, to be honest, sad to see. I grew up reading this magazine. I read it for years and years and years, probably 20 years, and I really enjoyed reading it. Unfortunately, just like motor magazine, hydrogen-fueled vehicles, whether that be heavy vehicles, trucks or haulage or cars, will not exist in any form of mass production within the next 20 years or ever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.